Hello, hello, hello. Happy New Year. It is Laura Victoria Ward here in Somatic Mat. And we are going to do a lymph flush. We'll do some breathing and then some movement, very sort of exercise -y slash somatic -y. So we're balancing fitness with awareness and general health for our bodies. And the other thing is I'm going to mute everybody. So if you need to say anything, feel free to unmute and it will not record your video, but it will record your sound. So let's start standing up and big inhale, fill up, expand, feel into your body. And then on the exhale, ah, let out like a sigh, sound of a sigh, inhaling, opening, exhale. Ah, I have like been sneezing all morning. So I have a ton of snot in my nose and it's actually hard to sigh. Inhale, lift and open. Ha, ah, letting go and add a little shake out. So this is an invitation just to shake out any of the sort of crustated past that you are ready to let go of from 2021 as we come into 2022. A couple more breaths like that. Inhale, fill up, get bigger, expand, feel your body, feel the space around you and exhale, ha, 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 shake it out, let it go. <laughs> relax your face, relax your neck and tongue. And last one like that, inhale, fill up, expand, get bigger, fill, and then <laughs> shake it out, let it go. And let's take it down toward the floor with bent knees. So knees are bent. So we're not going for a huge hamstring stretch yet, but we're just going to soften the spine. Oh, and I just realized that I haven't got my earplugs in, which are going to sound better, but take a minute for me to organize. So go ahead and just hang over, shift from side to side, let it go. Breathe into it. There, it should be working now. Ha. Melt. And let's just take the hands inside of the feet and do a couple of plies there. So bending the knees over the toes, feet parallel, and then straightening up. Let me, I know, not that kind. We're still, unless you need to stay up, we're still folded forward. Plie, knees over the toes, parallel. Take your butt to the ceiling. Two more times, plie, feeling your legs, feeling the floor, feeling your energy connecting to the ground, to the earth. Last one. And this one, we're gonna roll all the way up, coming all the way up to the top. And let's circle the shoulders. So in the circling of the shoulders, rib cage, lungs, and heart moving. I don't know, I was listening to some, some meditation and the, the, um, the person guiding it said, uh, breathe as if your heart had lungs and your heart really does have lungs and they're right next to it. So as you breathe, your lungs are massaging your heart, change direction up and over. So I love it when the as if is, is actually kind of the truth. Oh yeah, I think it was like breathe into your heart as if your heart had lungs. I'm like, well, yes, it, it really does. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do this lymph flush. So this is going to be your right hand on just above your left collarbone. You could also go below it. So if you feel like if you're a maximalist and wanna get the most out of this, you could do one hand above, one hand below, or you can just go into this area. Now, sometimes I see people doing it and they're barely doing anything. Get some action going in there. It doesn't have to be hard, but get it to move. So we're, this is a lymph flush. So your lymphatic system is a detoxifier of the body. Maybe the biggest one, skin, breath, Elimination of other sorts that are also detoxifiers. <sighs> Relax your neck and tongue and throat. But what we're doing, lymph, lymph moves along a pressure system. So we're clearing out the space for it to come in where it re uh, filters in the thorax. Change it to the other side, same thing. So this first sort of area is a big lymph area. And we're just starting here. And this is something I learned from this guy, Dr. Perry Nicholson. <laughs> I can give you his name, Linda. <laughs> and I feel like it's really, it's like it, it shifts things in your body in a really good way. And yeah, as he says, no system gets injured alone and no system heals alone. So getting the lymph online is gonna help tremendously. Then you're gonna go behind the angle of your jaw, digging in there, uh, relax your neck, tongue and throat. Droopy face, everything is just okay. 
Yeah, so really in here. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. And if you make some sound and sort of sigh with it, ugh, you're going to get more internal vibration and that is going to affect your tissue. Ha. Good. And then we're going to come to the next place, which is like the pec armpit area. You can kind of get in under your armpit or grab massaging that around. Yeah, this is here we go with the anti breast cancer movement. Yeah. Oh, kitty, I just see my cat wanting to do bad things. There's certain times of the day where it's like, well, he's just gotten up on the heater behind what, the computer. What kind of bad things? Eating the plant is one of them. And do the other side. Jumping in front of the computer screen is another one. Eating the plants generally is the, the bad thing. He's not a knocker over of things. Thank God for that. <laughs> you know, like cats like to do that, to shove things off of, off of edges. All right, I'm going to take off my sweater. It's getting warm now. This is my Georgina shirt, optical illusion. Next place, here's my xiphoid process. Here's my belly button. It's right in the middle. So in the midline of your body, coming into that place. <sighs> Breathing into that. Let your breath go deep down into your belly. So we wanna breathe deep. Breathing deep is gonna calm our systems and give us more oxygen. If we breathe up here, it's gonna be more nervous and less uh, oxygen goes into your system if the breathing is high in your lungs. So we wanna take, take it deep down so our diaphragm's descending into our belly, Ugh, relax. And then the next place, let's just shake that out for a second, shake. Bounce. So movement, deep diaphragmatic breathing, all of that stuff is going to stimulate the lymph and then also moving these lymph nodes. Okay, so next place, here's my inguinal fold. We're gonna just go above that and get in there. Yeah, and I feel like there's so few times when people actually touch this part of themselves or anyone else's, unless you're getting something, which, I don't know how many people are getting much these days. Anyway, so it's good to get some movement in there. We don't want it to be like a dead zone. Shake it out, let it go. Next place behind the knees. I took this workshop once from a yoga teacher and it was like, a, a, it was supposed to be like all about the hips and releasing the hips. And she called the pelvis the emotional graveyard. So <laughs> if you're holding any emotional graveyard stuff in your pelvis, just invite it to release now. Let it go. Okay, we're going to go to the back. This is no longer lymph. This is just stuff that I've done. Uh, this is more connective tissue stuff. So going into your sacrum, here's my sacrum, this V, and I'm just going to dig with my knuckles in there and then go out toward my greater trochanter up, up this line we all tend to store a fair amount of tension in there in the butt. So let yourself release that out. And that's also like a big nerve area where the spinal cord is coming down and the nerves are routing out this way. So this is an anti nerve pain thing. All right, good, for, good enough. Shake it all out, bounce it around, relax your neck, tongue and face. I guess my mom did not get up this morning in time to make it to this class or she'll pop in late. We'll see. Coming down to the floor, sitting on your butt in a cross-legged position. I'm like having a hard time with my camera today. There we go. Oh, there she is. No sooner said than there's my mom. Seems to be having a hard time getting in. Let me just go back to the waiting room. Oh, no, she should be coming in. There we go. All right, so sitting in a cross-legged position, taking your arms out to the side, let's just internally and externally rotate for a second. So feeling that spiral of your hands in through your rotator cuff, in, hey mom, happy new year. <laughs> She's looking confused. Are you in? Can you see everybody? Can you hear me? Or she had a heart. 
I think she might not have been able to connect to sound. Side stretch, or have, she has her sound turned down sometimes and forgets to turn it back up. Sideways, inhale, open. Exhale, side stretch. So you're making a C curve from your sit bone through your fingertips. And your spine is getting a nice stretch as well as your inner body, organs, side body. And we're gonna change it. You're gonna circle the whole way around. So take it to the side, come to the front, change arms as you're coming around, and then inhale, open up and side stretch. Circle it forward and around. Inhale, open, heart and lungs. Sideways, taking it forward all the way around. Inhale, open, side stretch. And forward, all the way around. Inhale up, let's change legs. So non-dominant leg goes in front, whichever one was not there before is the right one. If it feels weird, you've done it right. Take it down the front and you're just gonna shift from side to side. So again, we're freeing up the spine, snaking through the spine from the tail to the head. Breathing into it. And this could, like I'm turning my head as I go from one side to the other. And then come back in and come up. So one thing that I recently learned, and there's this guy, oh God, something Huberman, Andrew Huberman, who's like a, I think he's Canadian. <laughs> Everyone knows it. And he's like on the internet and he's a like ocular neuroscience or like optic neuroscience, neuroscientist. Yeah. Wait, say it out loud, Lindy, you're muted. Okay. Okay. Anyway. But, but when we look around and when we use our eyes to see what's around, like we already know this from uh, like our primitive brain goes, oh, everything's safe. We can, but there's more to it than that. Like opening up our world in the sense of looking around, changing what we're seeing and moving our eyes has an incredibly strong and um, important effect on our nervous system. What is it? I don't know right now because I'm, but also walking, walking, moving forward through space and looking around has a massive effect on us. So like when we've been shut down, it's like much more depressing for our bodies and our systems than when we're out looking around, moving through space, just throwing that out there as if we all need to do more things. Back of the hands towards each other, halfway down, inhale, spiral and open. He's got tons of video on YouTube and they're all like eight to 10 minutes. So small bite-sized chunks. Back of the hands towards each other, inhale, open. Exhale, hollow, inhale. Feel the space around you. So moving into the back space and then opening up front space. Exhale, inhale. So this would even be doing that, right? Especially if we look around as we do this or in the way that we do it sometimes where we're halfway down and then spiral, serve the sandwich, open it up. See the space around you. Exhale, halfway down, inhale, check it all out. Say hello to all your friends. Exhale, back of hands towards each other, inhale. It's just amazing how many like small things that if we do them, we go, oh yeah, I, I feel good when I do that. But we don't have, or we haven't had like the scientific data for why it's good for us. But we can often know in our bodies, oh, this feels good. Or when I do this or that, I feel good. Yeah, so listening into our bodies is a great one. I think my, my mom's in the spectating view. I don't think she's got her, mom, are you hearing me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Happy New Year. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry, I'm late, I thought. It was at 8.30. Oh, it's all right. Take your time. Mm -hmm. Join in whenever you feel like it. All right, let's take our hands behind us on the floor. Feet parallel, inhale, press your pelvis up and exhale, fold. If you have any kind of wrist or shoulder injuries, you can do this on your back with just lifting your pelvis. If it feels okay and you have long arms, you can scoot your butt back. Yeah, inhale up, exhale, inhale, press, exhale, inhale, lift, exhale, inhale, up. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale up and stay, pulsing up, pushing with your butt, going one, 
two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Take it down all the way onto your back on the floor, laying down. Take a couple of deep breaths. Let the weight of your bones drop down into the floor. And just imagining that your bones are very strong. So good bone density, give the idea to your mind and then keep it in your body. And then we're gonna easily drop the knees from side to side, letting this massage through your lower back. And if you feel like you wanna take this a little deeper, spiral and reach your leg across. Massaging out the space between the shoulders, nice, easy spinal movement. Inner body getting that twist. So organs are moving around, breathing. Ha. Ah. And again, feel free to make any kind of like ha, ah, loud sounds or groans or grunts as you're working out. And then come back into center and just pick up your butt for a second. Shake it, shake it, shake it. See if you can jiggle your belly, jiggle your butt. Let everything, let your spine realign. Soft and easy inside. So we're not trying to uh, hold on with everything we got. We're trying to let it go. Shake it out. Think of your body like a snow globe. Letting all the snow really move around inside the snow globe. And then, oops, I got another person there. And then you're gonna take your hands down by your sides and do big circles with your legs or small circles. So working with a, a size and a range of motion that feels good to you. Hey, Susan, happy new year. Thank you. As big or as small as you feel as feels good in your body with these circles. And if you feel like, oh yeah, I really feel good and I wanna make this harder, you can kind of lift your butt off the floor, but really work with what feels good to you. Good, excellent. And then relax that and just shake it out. And again, add some sound like ah, really letting your body percolate. Percolate's the wrong word for it, but it's a good word. And then let's go for a happy baby, just wiggling around in your happy baby, seeing if you can find some happy babiness. You could do this just grabbing onto your knees or your feet, either way. And Susan, feel free to take your time warming up. And if you're feeling good and you wanna try it, you can roll back and forth into a plow. Or if, feel, if rolling forward and backward does not feel good, roll side to side instead. So you'll still be getting a massage out across your spine, but it'll be more gentle. So I know I've been talking about having that nerve pain in my upper back from pole dancing. I have to say, knock on wood, it's almost gone. When you have certain types of pain last longer than other ones and take a while to heal. And one thing like with the nerve pain, it was all up here in my, lower, in my upper back and it felt almost like I had a crick in my neck, but it didn't hurt to move. So I, I had to keep doing that. Okay, yes, I can move my head. And I feel like that's part of what healed it. The other thing is I had eight days off of pole, so that probably was helpful. Okay, taking the arms out to the sides, we're gonna do a spiral twist. But in my eight days off of pole, I was still doing a ton of other things, right? It was this past week turning your head from side to side. If your back feels good, turn your head away from your legs. If your back hurts, turn your head in the same direction and make the movement smaller. If you want to make this harder, go for straight legs. And this particular exercise for me is like an essential part of my pole warm up. Just getting that stretch across my arms and back as well as the spiral with my legs. and bring it in 
and just relax, readjust yourself if you've traveled around the room. Turn your head from side to side for a second, relax your neck and jaw, Ugh, relax your tongue and mouth, relax your legs. Yeah, so let your legs move so you have two separate legs that are connected to your pelvis, but not one lower body unit that's all stuck together. So just let them open and close a little bit, soft, easy, and relaxed. Again, we don't wanna drive the car with the brakes on. We wanna make it as easy and loose as possible. So we're not using maximum effort to do anything. We're working with the most efficient version of ourselves possible, which is releasing some of the holding of like how we've learned how to be human. Maybe if we let go of some of that, life will be a little easier. Hands behind our heads, elbow to knee, crossing over, going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Relax down for a second. Take your hands. Just for a second, I'm just gonna show you where I seated up, but you can say laying down up here. So like sort of where your thymus is and you're just gonna massage that out. So up here, this little indentation just under your collarbones, move that around a little. As you're there, just breathe into that. You could add a ha, big breathing, Ooh, just softening that tissue and then shake it out, let it go. And we're gonna do the same exercise a little bit faster. You can also do this easier by just crossing and leaving one foot on the floor. So if you wanna make it easier, do the easier version. If you wanna make it harder, we're going faster. Off we go. Going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, one, two, three, four, five, just 30, eight, nine, 10, and relax. Open your arms wide, so feel your wingspan, wings of the heart, wings of the lungs, and just now wiggle your spine a little bit. So you're in this wide position. Think of softening your midline, softening deep inside, just giving yourself more ease. As we're doing that, we're imagining space in the spinal cord, so there's room for our nervous system. No spinal stenosis. Then we're gonna draw our knees and elbows up towards each other and you're just gonna open slowly and then close. So you're laying on your back, elbows and knees, coordinating together to open and close. Very easy in the joints. And then we're gonna open and just close one half. So one half is gonna close till you fall onto your side. And then that's gonna open, 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 open till you roll on your back. And then the other side is gonna close, 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 close opening and then closing. So ideally one half of the body opens until you roll over on your back and then the other half closes until you close. And you're not pushing off the floor to get anywhere. You're just easy rolling. Imagining the water in your body just sloshing through, hydrating the tissue in the back of your body, relaxing your neck and shoulders, relaxing your head. And now we're gonna get a little more exciting. You're gonna just open up through the middle and then fold on the other side. So opening and closing, radiating out, expansive, folding it in, open it up, close it in, open and close, open and close. Good, and then come back into center and lower your feet down. Let's take the hands down by your heels. If you can, we're not gonna grab on, but if you can touch your heels, touch. Feet are just slightly wider than your hips. You're gonna press your pelvis up from there. If you can, interlace your hands behind your butt, walk your shoulders close together. If that isn't accessible for you, just push the floor away. From here, we're gonna to touch the knees together and then inhale, open knees wide. Exhale, closing your knees. Inhale, rolling to the outer edge of your foot. Exhale, closed. Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. Inhale, open. Exhale, closed. Hamstrings, back, and butt pushing you up toward the ceiling. Open. And we're getting this nice, easy stretch and movement through our IT band, outer thigh. 
Maybe a little bit of stretch in the quad. Close and open and last one. Close and bring it into center. Open your hands, shoulders wide, roll it down through your spine. Take your hands on your knees and we're gonna make big circles, lubricating up that hip socket even more, massaging out your lower back. And then change direction. Letting your arms do the work. So the legs are really soft and passive. And then come in and let's roll ourselves back and come up onto, let's come onto hands and knees. If you need extra padding under your knees, get a pillow, get whatever you need so that you're comfortable on your hands and knees or skip it altogether. So if that's not gonna work for you, that's another option. You can skip this. We're gonna take one leg, let's just take, let's do it so you can see. One leg out behind you. Once the leg is in the back, you're gonna make circles. If you feel like this is a piece of cake and you wanna make it harder, you're gonna take the opposite arm off the floor. Oh, hello, now I can feel that little bit of nerve, residual nerve pain in the back of my shoulders. And then you're gonna flex your foot in the back and change direction, circling it the other way. And then release that leg down, switch it to the other side, pointed toes for the first part. So as you circle one way, the toes are pointed, opposite arm up off the floor or not, whatever feels good to you. Lengthening through the leg and then flex, change direction other way. Breathe. Long spine, shoulders wide. And release it down. Coming down to your elbows and knees, we're gonna do a quick cat cow here. So arching and then curling. In the arch, think of your sit bones and your pubic bone reaching back, chest and lungs reaching forward. And then in the curl, you're hollowing, scooping up and in. So energy is radiating outward and then scooping up into your belly as you curl. Arching energy, head and tail away from each other. Exhale, scoop up, doming. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Now, we're gonna take one leg out behind you, elbows on the floor, kicking the ceiling with that leg up and down. You can do this on your side if your knees are hurting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch it to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Curl your toes under behind you. We're gonna take a forearm plank, just holding your plank. If you need to put your knees on the floor, that's fine too. Otherwise, you're gonna push forward and backward. Head reaches forward, heels reach back hovering in this horizon line, breathing. And then take your pelvis down to the floor, melt into the floor, bend your knees, relax your legs, dropping your legs from side to side, massaging out the quads, softening your body. Soft, easy, and loose, relaxed. And then tops of the feet onto the, uh, curl your toes under again. We'll do one more release here. Head is gonna be on your hands and you're just gonna relax your knees into the floor, push up and down. Imagine your body like a bowl of jello, just soft and easy, jiggly. Relaxed, melting. Tissue is pliant and strong. And then you can take the tops of your feet to the floor, hands next to your chest. You're just gonna do a baby cobra to come up. So baby cobra up and then exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, coming into just as high as it feels okay for you. Next one, you're gonna 
put your hands on the ground and press up as high as it feels good. Shoulders are connected into your back. Use your breath. Inhale, open. Up and down with your breath, softening into the floor and then pressing. Let the eyes take you up. So we had all that talk about the eyes. So think of the eyes looking out, leading you up. Couple more times. And the next one, you can take it back into a child's pose. Soften and melt. Big three-dimensional breathing in your child's pose. So fill up your whole torso like you're a bubble, finding the depth, the length, the width of your body, breathing into it. So with the breath, we never want to try and be smaller. Well, that's not entirely true, but mostly we don't want to try and be smaller. We want to really try and get the oxygen into our bodies, getting things moving. And then taking it up onto your hands and knees again, opening your hands so that they're a little bit wider than your sticky mat, circles with your chest down to the floor and up. Pushing the floor away, mobilizing heart, ribs, lungs, and spine. Change direction. And then come in and let's come onto, let's just do this spiral, come onto your butt. First, we're gonna start by just rolling across one hip and then rolling across the other. So I'm leaning back so that I can get the floor really into the belly of my glute, the belly of my butt cheek. Yeah, letting that massage it out. So I'm getting down there, getting in. And then I'm gonna come up a little bit more and I'm gonna spiral down to the floor and I'm going to kiss the floor and come back up. Don't kiss the floor for real, unless you want to. My mom would have a lot to say about that. <sighs> Shoes, floors, kissing should not be in the same sentence. Use your breath. Okay, we're gonna take it down to one side and you're going to, let me see how I can show you this the best. You're gonna take your down to the floor. You're gonna come up, knee is gonna cross your elbow. Then you're gonna reach out the back leg, spiral toward the floor. So it's exhale up, inhale down, exhale. Inhale, spiral, exhale. So it's like a really baby sort of push up with this leg spiraling twist. If it's too much, just do a couple of them and stop. But if you're good, five more. Four, really listening into your own body. Three, two, last one. And then over to the other side, same thing. So you're going to go down to the floor and then as you come up, your elbow and knee pass each other and then reach out down to the floor. Two, you can inhale up, exhale down or the vice versa. Just make sure you're really breathing. Find a rhythm of your breath that works with your movement. Four more, three, two, last one. And come back up, Let's take the legs out in front. I just need to turn the heat off in my house. I had it on, it's like, oh, it's really stuffy in here. Not to mention, it sounds like there's a truck driving through our basement because of our, yeah, our heating system. Oh, the beauties of home ownership. Walk your butt from side to side, take it forward and fold. Relax, soften. If you need to bend your knees a little bit there, go for it. Breathe long, deep breaths into your body. Whatever your inner dialogue is here, just take a note of what, what are you saying to yourself? and maybe become more gentle, friendly, and compassionate. Breathe into it.
And then coming up, let's open into a straddle. So your straddle can be, you can elevate your pelvis on a pillow or something if that feels like helpful, or you can just bend your knees a little bit. So finding a position that feels okay for you. And from there, you're gonna take your hands behind your head. And this is also gonna depend on your range of motion and what feels good for you. If you're very open, take it all the way to the floor. If you're not so open, you can just do a little side stretch, working with what feels right in your body today. So we're stretching and then working that whole side body. Last one, let's take it down to face your leg. So you're gonna face one leg, just take it down towards your leg, breathe into it. Telling yourself you're letting go, softening, melting, letting go. If it's too much, bend your knee or take it, make it smaller. From there, we're gonna walk it into the center, breathe into that. And then push the floor away, roll it up and turn and face the other leg, taking it down. Try to keep both sit bones on the ground. So one might wanna pop up. If it's possible, bring that sit bone down to the ground. You'll get more of a stretch in your torso and in your organs. And it's not so much that we're stretching the organs. We just want them to have some mobility inside so that they're not all gummed up against each other. Walk it into center. Breathe into it. And then push the floor away and come up. Bring your legs together, bang them up and down, rotate in and out. And we're gonna do uh, a push up. So this push up we can do in several ways. Um, it could be that you have your knees bent and you're just gonna go like that. Like that's the easy version. Harder version, your knees, your body's in a plank, but your knees are on the floor. Hardest version, your knees are off the floor and you're doing it. I'm doing this, the medium one myself. So work with what feels right to you. Off we go, elbows into your side. So it's gonna be a tricep push up. Going one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it into a downward dog. I see your face, Sol, and I feel the same way. <laughs> Walking through, bend your knees, one leg and then the other. Look under your armpit. Ha! Ah, soften the inner body. And then take your knees back down to the floor. Just give your hands a break for a second. You can sit on your butt if deep flexion is a problem. So sitting anyway, taking your hands out, you're going to squeeze your fingers together. So my, my fingers are holding my hands together, but my arms are trying to pull apart. I'm widening the collarbones, opening my chest and lungs. Careful with this one, mom, with your collarbone thing. Then just turn your head from side to side. Look around. Then you're gonna take your hands up over your head and same thing. Turn your head from side to side. Hands are pulling away from each other. Huh, relax your neck, jaw, and tongue. Really feel into your throat, face, upper chest, upper back. And then release and shake that out, let that go. And we're gonna come back, last thing, and then we're gonna do a hip stretch. Onto our hands and knees. One leg out to the side, right out to your side. So it's not back on the diagonal, but it's 90 degree angle in the hip, up and down to the side. Going one, two, three. Long straight leg, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Over to the other side. Switch it up and down, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take it onto your back. On your back. We're going to have a variety pack of hip stretches here. So you choose what works for you. Um, one version is with one knee over the other knee, lifting up, grabbing your ankles. We often do this seated. Another version is with your ankle over your knee. So choose between those two. If you grab the ankles, you can play with taking your nose to your knee or lengthening your back down to the floor. Moving back and forth is gonna give you a little bit more movement in your tissue. So take your time with it, but just feel what it feels like, feel into the stretch. If you've got the ankle over knee, same thing. You can curl up into it and kind of release down. Breathe. So when we do little micro movements on the inside as we're in stretches, the chances are the fascia, which is a very three-dimensional matrix, is gonna have more chance of opening and hydrating with that small micro movement. Ha, ah, big deep breathing, sigh whenever necessary. Sigh as needed. I think I need a shirt that says that. Legs up to the air, give them a shake. Ha, ah, let it go. And switch it to the other side. Whatever you did on the first side, same thing here. Breathe into it. Melt, soften, let go. And then release, shake, 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 let it go. Let's do a quick happy baby down there. Happy baby new year. More happy baby in the new year. Breathing into it. And then when you're ready, rolling back and forth, you can do the um, seal if that feels good or roll side side. So seal, you would grab inside your ankles. You could come up. Yeah. And then we're gonna stand on our legs. Just shift from, shift from side to side, bend one knee, bend the other. Let your head and neck release. And as you're down there, if your eyes are open, look around, look around in this upside, upside down way. Let the world come into your eyes so you're not making a huge effort to look around, but just seeing what's out there. And then bend your knees, roll all the way up to the top. And we're gonna inhale, stretch out and up. And exhale, ha, ah, let it go. Inhale, up, exhale, ah, shake it down if that feels good. Inhale, up, and exhale, ah, shake it out. Last one, inhale. Fill up, this time we're not gonna shake it out yet. You're gonna interlace your hands, press up and just a little side side stretch. Feeling your shoulder blades, giving them a little bit of mobility on your back so they don't need to be locked down and in, but you're letting them move. Strong legs, strong torso, strong body without having to hold. So strength shouldn't be an idea of this rigid thing, but this very fluid thing for the long term of your tissues and muscles. So nice to see everybody this morning. Oh, I'm going to stop recording. If you made it this far in the TV land of YouTubes or anywhere else you've made it from, please like and subscribe. <laughs> My goal is to get to a thousand people. I've only got 312.